Hello, Fear the Meerkat here. Welcome to another episode of Final Fantasy VI Advance. Let's play. Think of Let's Play or to start actually playing. So yeah, I like the fact that there's a, a turtle. Was it a tortoise? I'm not sure. Swing around there. Um, there is a way to get through that uh, that opening at the top. But basically, I've decided my policy should be if I happen to go down the correct corridor, then great. And if not, and I end up missing something, well, then I end up missing something. This is quite a complicated area to go through. I will be trying my best to show you the right way to go and show off all of the extra places you can get to. But um, you can't actually do very much, uh, as far as I can tell. I have been through that cave at the top there, and there isn't much you can actually do. So, can't interact with the turtle or anything. There are also a lot of enemies here, which makes this area quite irritating. Uh, if I accidentally go down the wrong path, well, I will probably cut that bit out. There are new enemies, as you can see. I don't know if I'll be cutting any, any enemy battles. Probably I will, because the enemies in this cave are numerous and annoying. I'm gonna simply try to get my characters to go up a level. That's the most useful thing you can do here, apart from just getting to the end of it. But yeah, I get used to this, um, get used to doing combat a lot. Yeah, see, like this, I've got a feeling that I've gone down the wrong path here. And there's somewhere I need to go behind me, but never mind, I can do that in a second. So, yes, um, you may have noticed I put an improved version of episode 4 up, hopefully with, uh, with improved graphics, a version that looks better, put it simply. And uh, if you haven't, check that out. Now, I actually discovered this quite by accident. I don't normally watch the episodes on YouTube after I've uh, uploaded them, because what tends to happen with that is um, that my, uh, my count for the number of people who've watched it includes me, if you see what I mean. So, if seven people have watched it, and I've watched it as well, it will come up as eight people, but it won't tell me um, that one of those is me. So, um, someone made a comment on one of my videos, I think it was episode 4, that uh, the quality of the video wasn't very good. I went and had a look, uh, and actually played the video for myself. It turns out that this person was right. Thank you for pointing that out. And, um, this is not something that I've had a chance to notice, because on my screen, I've, uh, it, it looks fine. And that's because the problem is that it's very small on the, uh, the YouTube screen. It's much smaller than the version that I watch whilst I'm editing it. So, uh, that's why I didn't realise that. And it was a little embarrassing because I've been talking about how great the graphics are and you haven't really been able to see them probably. So, uh, I've tried uh, getting new recording uh, programs to try to make that work, but I haven't uh, had much success. So basically, episode 4 is the best quality I can get. Um, it means the upload time is, is longer, but that's that's my problem, not yours. So, um, yes, that is the quality that you're going to get from now on, and if you still want to watch it, then great. I'm glad you still want to watch it, 
And if that puts you off watching it, well, then I suppose you'll put off watching it. Yes, I am really totally going the wrong way. I will just get rid of these creatures and then I will go back to where I should be. And, um, sort of start again, so to speak. It's quite a nice effect, but see, she isn't poisoned or anything. So yes, as I'm going backwards, I might as well uh, continue to tell you things. So, yes. Um, Basically, when I get new recording equipment, there's a few things I have to check. I have to check that the sound doesn't go out of sync. I have to check that it can record on, from an emulator. I have to check that it can record graphics that are better than the graphics on an emulator if I'm not using an emulator, if you see what I mean. I need to check that it's compatible with my editing program. I need to check that it's compatible with my program for recording sound. So, basically, either I will be able to record live commentary, in which case I need to make sure that it lets me record live commentary, or I will need to record a separate commentary using a separate program. And if it forces me to do that, because that's just the way the recording program works, then I need to make sure it's compatible with my sound recording program. And after all of that, I need to make sure that it will upload to YouTube properly. Yes, I'm going completely the wrong way again. Please just ignore that. So, uh, yes, I have to do all of those things, and having done all of those things, I will normally find that the record new recording program I have has some terrible fault that, after having spent several days learning how the new program works, I may need to spend a couple uh, more days trying to find a workaround, um, a way of uh, resolving the program basically the program's faults and uh, I didn't really feel like doing that again so I tried my best to uh, to do that anyway but um, the result was that uh, uh, there isn't really a, a better recorder to use than the one I was already using anyway so all I've done is to um, to, to fiddle around with the settings a little bit, so that the quality's a little bit better, and um, that's how I've ended up with it looking like this. But it's not going to look better than this. I've tried my best, and I've decided that I make a lot of fuss over video quality and sometimes that lot of fuss just uh, isn't worth it. I admit this is quite a rambling monologue you don't need to know all of this I'm just telling you this because it's actually quite annoying um, to have to get new recording software it really is irritating I felt com like complaining about that a bit so now I have. Okay, so that's one good thing I've achieved, is gained a level. Ether, in case I haven't mentioned it before, uh, brings your magic points, your MP, back up to the largest amount it can be again. I will try to get that box. So 
So, just to clarify, the price at the, the left of the screen there, where there's a gap, is where you go up to, um, to go and get that container from earlier. Um, there's a price with a gap um, a lot further away from that, further to the left, and that's the area where I came into this cave. And um, the space to the far right with a gap in it that you can really go through. Several gaps, in fact, uh, leads you further into the cave. So I'm I'm sure I'm sure you can work out how to follow this. Despite the fact that I've actually made it more complicated. Fire uses up more magic than um, more magic points than um, anything else I've got at the moment, like cure, for example. But I do have an Eva, and I do feel that it's worth it, as these uh, these creatures are annoying. So as you can see, she's still got 38 out of 72, and fire has an MP cost of 4, and cure has an MP cost of 5. So you also want to ignore me when I said that the MP cost is higher for um, fire, because it isn't. I am just a mine of... Uh, incorrect information today. So yes, on my keyboard it's A and S simultaneously to run. Um, I think on an Atsu Game Boy the controls will be different, but I'm fairly certain it also told you earlier what the controls are. So, there you go. And if I really had to, okay, well, I will have a look and uh, and look them up in a second. Just so you know, in case you're playing along with this on your own uh, machine. I don't really have a lot to say about these, uh, these monsters, because I don't really know a lot about them. I am still playing slightly further ahead than I've gotten in the LP so far, but yeah, I don't know a lot about these creatures. So it's the L and the R button, apparently. The L and the R button simultaneously allows you to run from that. And now that everyone's gotten to a higher level, I am just going to skip these battles because there are a lot of them and it's not really worth it. Now, my, uh, my, uh, my guys here, my, uh, my party, um, their levels might be, have, basically I've tried to, I've started off with them kind of all at roughly the same level they were before, it doesn't matter as much now, but if you noticed at the beginning of the video that their levels were slightly different than how they should be, that's uh, just because um, that's because I've had to start from an earlier point in the game due to um, trying to trying to re-record the episode with better quality. So I've had to sort of redo episode 4, if you see what I mean. Um, and so that's kind of why the levels may have started out as being different. But um, this isn't good commentary I'm doing right now, because I'm talking about something that no longer matters, because their levels have all gone up by one level anyway. But I sort of started the sentence, and... Um, 
It turned into a long rambling monologue, but I didn't feel I could really sort of stop talking. So that's why I've said all that. Sorry. <laughs> I like this this moving water here, which I'm really, really hoping you can see. Um Yes. So so you basically want to aim for this town. You don't really need to fight anyone along the way. You just aim for this town. And uh, this is actually an excellent place to stop. Um, I'm not sure if it's quite been 20 minutes or not yet, but this this is actually a very fine time to stop. So I'm just going to go out onto the overworld to uh, save. But, uh, yes, we've, we've gone to this cave, and uh, the town ahead is quite complicated, so now is an excellent time to stop.